Hello, Leo. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your monthly tarot card reading for February 2024. Thank you so much if you already subscribed to the channel and welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you enjoyed the reading, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. So Leo, take what resonates, leave the rest, and we're going to just jump into your reading. Now, each row represents each week in February. We're going to take a look at your tarot cards first and then go back to each week. Uh, first, we're going to pull um, what crystal Leo needs for the month of February. So let's do that first. Let's see what Leo needs for February. A little bit jumpy. Okay. Labradorite, psychic ability, third eye chakra, really listening to your intuition. Beautiful crystal. And I'm actually going to set that up here. And let's see. Mine's um, pretty much kind of gray with a little bit of the fiery, fieriness. I don't know if you can kind of see the golden fieriness there. Well, Bring that into your reading, Leo. We will pick a um, a love card, relationship card at the very end. All right, Leo. So we're going to take a look at your tarot cards first and kind of get the collective message here. First week, you have the major arcana card, the star, the promise of new directions, you know, the hope for new beginnings, and it's kicking off um, the first week in the in the month. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Could be um, involvement with a Capricorn or just getting back to the basics this month. And you have the Judgment card. So certainly a transitional month. I feel that for some Leos, January was a really rocky month. I think this is going to be so much better. But still, um, a transitional month in regards to what you're manifesting for yourself. And the last week here, the King of Swords, yeah. That could actually represent an individual or, um, you know, kind of just having that mental clarity and knowing your direction um, by month's end. All right, so let's go back to week one here, Aaliyah. You have the major arcana card, the star. It is a major arcana card, so it is incorporating some kind of change. This is what you're hoping for and wishing for. Very strong energy here with the golden glow, and that's the biggest star um, I've seen in a while, where um, it's indicating that what you're putting your thoughts behind, your mindset, what you're talking about, thinking about, um, ideas that you have, you certainly have the ability and... Um, you know, the, the energy to make this happen. And since we did finish out the month of January with the Magician card and the Ace of Wands, yeah, um, this is hope, uh, success, positivity, happiness coming in. And the 17 of the Star card reduces down to eight. So that is abundance and prosperity and what it is you want to manifest for yourself. So kicking off the week, you've got the star card here. Now, let's look at your tea leaf message here. You have butterfly, and it says a change for the better. And see, the butterfly, um, you are in a transformational um, energy. You still are. So it's getting used to your new form, the new you, whatever you're doing that's new. And it is certainly a change for the better. Let's clarify this first week, and here we have the star card. So whenever you have the same clarifying card, it's the universe kind of saying, Leo, I meant what I said. You've got the hope, positivity, prosperity. Um, if you look at on this card here, you know, she's got one foot in the water, one foot on land. Um, that still indicates you're still in transition, I feel that for some Leos, again, I feel that rough time in January and now that February is hit, wow, it's almost like um, you might be feeling lighter. You might be feeling that um, issues and problems and everything are kind of just dissolving. So very much the hope um, for this star. Um, also this week, it wouldn't hurt if you see the brightest star and make a wish upon it. 
Now, in the second week, you've got the Queen of Pentacles coming in. This is um, gathering up your resources. This is a very fertile energy for some Leos. If you're wishing to get pregnant, this is the week. The second week in February, and I do believe that encompasses uh, Valentine's Day, just barely if you're talking about week one being from the 1st to the 7th, and then the 7th through the 14th, so very fertile time. Valentine's Day could do the trick, but this is what you want to manifest for yourself. So for some of you, you want another child or, or you're beginning to start your family. This could be in regards to something that you want, maybe a new job, a new relationship, a new home. You've got the resources available to you. Look at everything. So very much a very um, fertile, down-to-earth, grounded, centered, balance uh, energy. Getting back to the basics. You know, um, I almost feel like you're laying a new foundation, uh, maybe almost over the old foundation. There's a, a feeling of letting go of something that has served its purpose. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is actually Capricorn's card. So as I said in the beginning, there could be a Capricorn involved with you, especially um, the second week here could be a Capricorn you're in a relationship with or going to be. Tea leaf message is feather. Wow, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Wow, I need to pull a clarifying card right away for that. Because I'm not <clears throat> I'm not picking that up that the Queen of Pentacles is that way. Certainly not. That's a very nurturing uh, love lovable energy. Who's the feather card? Who is the feather card? Ooh. Wow. Masculine energy with the magician card, it's um it's maybe something um that you're believing in a person and maybe the person isn't that way. So it's something you're actually manifesting. That you believe someone is um not sincere, not uh, dependable, but maybe they're not that way. So take it how it resonates. Let's clarify this second week. There you are. There you are with the Queen of Pentacles. So very much a week of gathering your resources. Um, maybe you're trying to prove this person something to this person because with the Magician card, that is you're trying to manifest um Maybe for this person to get better. <laughs> that could possibly be it. But your energy, Capricorn energy. So very productive week in the second week here. And that is when um, Valentine's falls. Third week here, you do have the Judgment card. This can be um, with the number 20 numerology that can be in regards to relationships so this could have something to do with the feather card you know someone that that maybe you felt previously was um undependable insincere um i almost pick up like that's a misunderstanding so with the judgment card this is in regards to relationships around you in the third week here you're still in a transitional uh period and that could be you know figuring out maybe a new boss a new colleague, a new client. There's something here where almost um, with, with the magician card representing masculine energy, it can be that the other person is a little bit in um, insecure is what I'm picking up. Or busy, overwhelmed. I keep picking that up. So I don't believe this person is actually that way, but that's how they're coming across. That's how um, that's how it's being manifested to you. Let's look at the tea leaf message here. Flowers, happiness coming in. Okay, things are definitely um, you know going in your favor. Let's clarify. Four of Wands, celebration. We have the 1111 here. So passing through this very transformative time, getting to the other side where you, you can say, Leo, we have arrived. You know, I have arrived. 
Um, this could represent a wedding, going to a wedding, celebrating some kind of birthday ceremony. You could be attending some kind of an event. That could be possibly where you run into someone that says something to you, but you don't really believe them is what I'm picking up. Last week, though, you have the King of Swords and wow, really powerful energy. You are in a place of almost like the Seven of Wands energy where you've, you're in a position of advantage. I very much see that even though this is not your card, Leo. This is you sitting on this throne where you see all. You know who might be undependable, insincere. So this, um, this also could be someone that you're working with or who is helping you out in some aspect. King of Swords a lot of times can be someone that you go to for advice, a mentor. It can be a, an attorney if you, um, you know, really want to know the legalities of something. Make sure you're doing something in the right way. This is a very practical, rational approach. By the end of the month, I feel that you've got what you're setting into motion, whatever you're transitioning into, you've got it down pat. Oh, Axe, forces working against you. Wow. Again, maybe something to do with the feather card here. Let's pull. You can see it, though. And in this deck, the court cards also have been given numerology, and that is actually 14, uh, like the, um, is it 14? Yeah, I think it's 14, which is temperance. Temperance energy is 14. So maybe you have to be the diplomat because... There might be something going on in the background. When it says forces, it doesn't exactly need to be people. It could just be um, circumstances that are arising. So let's clarify the X card. Mm. Wheel of Fortune. What I'm picking up is there's somebody that's, um, I'm picking up because it's the wheel of fortune and that is good energy. I feel the wheel is turning in your favor. You're very sure of yourself by the end of the month. The forces working against you is somebody is jealous, somebody's envious. Don't we always have that, Leo? And for those of you that don't know, I am a Leo. So very much um, <laughs> I'm aware of um, maybe it's this person, somebody that's undependable, insincere, and they could also be jealous because I feel that you're going in the right direction. You're coming out of this transition. You're happy. You know, you're celebrating. It's a change for the better. You know, you're grounded, centered, and balanced. Let's clarify. Things are working out as they were meant to be. So the wheel is turning in your favor even though there are people or forces working against you. I feel like there's a resistance here. There, It could be a circumstance, a situation that does involve other people where they're not wanting, uh, there's a situation where uh, maybe other individuals are involved and they're not wanting things to go a certain way, but they are, they just are. It's going to benefit you, Leo. But the reason you have the Labrador eye crystal is really tune into, um, you know, your third eye chakra, which is your perception on things. Things might not appear. Um, you might not have the whole story is what I'm picking up. I'm picking up very much things working behind the scenes. So Labradorite is about strengthening your psychic ability, having that crystal with you. Uh, third eye chakra is your gut instincts. You know, your intuition, listen to it, definitely, for the month of February. It's going to guide you. You've got everything, you know, just kind of rolling out in your favor here. But there is someone that you can't rely on, you can't depend on, that's involved in this transition in some way. But it's, it's working out in your favor because with the Justice card here, things are working out as they were meant to be. 
All right, Leo, let's pull a um, romantic uh, romance angels card. All right, let's see what what's going on in regards to love for Leo. Let's see what we get. You deserve love and you are lovable, Leo. Absolutely. I love that. Could be an indication, um, you know, you've got some flowers here. Um, definitely with the being Valentine's in this month, you could be getting some flowers, um, some kind of celebration. It is happiness. It might be a new relationship for some of you. Uh, just getting into uh, the relationship. And even though um, the relationship is very new, I still feel you're going to get some kind of... Um, Something for Valentine's Day. Even though the relationship is very fresh, very new, it's not going to send the wrong message. So some kind of um, celebration. I, I almost feel in the third week, which is after Valentine's Day, that you're going to some kind of an event. So you might bring somebody new to the event. And the fact that she's got this arrow this is kind of like um cupid's arrow you deserve love and you are lovable for single leos out there um that arrow is starting this month and we will see by the time march rolls around we'll see what the cards say but leo trust your intuition this month it's not going to steer you wrong looks like um very good month. You're heading in the right direction. You're heading for more happiness, love, what it is that you want. You're very grounded, centered, and balanced. Better than um, January, certainly. I feel February is rolling in the right direction. So, all right, Leo, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, like the video, share a comment. It all helps the channel grow. Visit my website for a more in-depth private reading. But love and abundance to my Leo family.